OpenAI just released the new GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. We're going to talk all about it and learn how to use it. First thing is that you have to upgrade your OpenAI to the newer version, pip install dash upgrade. And this is it. This is how you use it. Make sure you call in the completion, not chat completion. Instruct model is just the completion, just like text which is 003 was. So this is very simple. Set your API key and just make a call. You run this. With following is a list of Python app ideas. Here we get a response. I think its default token limit is very low. Uh, we can change the mix tokens to 1000 and run it again. Here we go. We got a whole list of Python app ideas, all 20 of them. To completion endpoint works by completing your text. So uh, this is great because you can really get something quick, get back to you as a response. Now we're going to set stream to true so we can see the response is arriving. Pay attention that if we were to just print the response object without having the stream true, Let's just see that real quick. We get this object, okay? As you see, we are looking for the choices and text. So the zeroth element of choices and text. Uh, zeroth element of the choices and the text of it is what, what is being returned. This is why we are getting it like this, but when we are doing streaming response, when we want streaming responses, we just set the stream parameter to true, and then we loop over the response object and print the chunks text element with and true so we can actually see it within the same line there we go it's very quick uh, this is great actually we can move the prompt outside so we can just deal with it here just like that we can ask for a list of best sci-fi movies let me run it there we go we got 30 sci-fi movie list okay this time let's do something more interesting we're going to ask for a list of interesting never before thought of python app ideas we can say each idea is a few words in its own line starting with dash and space that's it we're going to call for it we're going to initialize an empty streaming response let's just see it running and then when we run this we create a new file with this list take a look okay these are all our python ideas in a new file because we're doing streaming we initialize the responses empty string we loop over the response, get a chunk printed and append it to the responses. This is going to be a string. And then we just strip it looking for this particular dash because we asked it to return like that. And then we just simply write it to a file. Let's do it in action again. Okay, when we're doing it in real time, look, it's written just like that. Okay, next, let's make it more fun. Not only are we going to get a list of interesting Python app ideas, we're going to write them to file but also make another call for each idea and write each one of those into uh, their own files as well. As well, we're only asking for pseudocode for each idea. But before we continue, please take a look at my Patreon. The link will be in the description. All these code files will be available at my Patreon too. And I have some really cool projects there, like the Swarm AGI, Auto AGI, Llama Index, Autocoding Dynamo, a whole lot of interesting projects that I spend a lot of time on. Oh, I hope you'll like it. Just check it out in the description. Also, check out my uh, website at www.ecohive.live to find all the videos I have created easily. Find the code download links. You can also search for anything you're looking for. For example, if you're searching for LangChain, it's instant search. Link will be in the description. Thank you. So let's see what this code does. And now we're going to take a look at it while it's running. So it generates ideas, then saves it to Python ideas. And then it actually then loops over all the ideas, creates a folder, and starts saving all the pseudocode for each idea, as you see. OK, while it's doing that, let's take a look at it. We are first asking for a list of interesting ideas. We've seen that part, then saving it to Python ideas. But since we have our idea list, we are uh, iterating over it and asking write the basic Python pseudocode for this idea. Only use pseudocode in Python. Code, no other text. Response pseudo is we make that call. We print it. Uh, we make sure we create a Python ideas folder if it doesn't exist. And then we write each one with its name, idea name, into a, a dot .py file. As you see, we can just simply grab any one of these and ask GPT-4 to write the full code for us, for example. And it's just going to go ahead and write it. This is an interesting way of doing it. You can also do it programmatically using the API. Anyway, all our apps are written now. They're all some kind of pseudocode one way or another. It's all in Python ideas. Okay, so this is pretty cool. 
I'll put including the ideas in the Patreon as well. I'll just make this a quick video. I'll be making a longer video going over the chat completions, do a maybe step-by-step -step guide for everyone, but this is interesting. G3.5 Turbo Instruct is new. As you see, you can do quite a lot with it. It's just so easy to get going with this. You don't have to deal with the messages list as, as you do with the chat completions endpoint. And look, I just put this together in literally 15 minutes. The, you just Your imagination is the limit. You can really do a whole lot of stuff and it really listens to the instructions very well. It really surprised me. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and play around with it. So this just came out today and hope you'll build many great apps using it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my website at www.echohive.live and thank you and see you in the next video.